A suspicious package forced road closures and a synagogue to evacuate on the Jewish Sabbath today. Police say there was no threat and that package was later cleared. Troy Kless is on your side in Mandarin tonight with more from the president of that synagogue. But please tell me your people were concerned, of course. Dr. Scott Ackerman was out of town when he got a call about a suspicious package at Etz Chaim Synagogue. He appreciates that congregants observing Sabbath were vigilant and called police when they noticed something out of place. You know, we, we try to keep vigilant uh, at the synagogue, not, not you and not, not necessarily since uh, Pittsburgh attacks, but we've been vigilant there ever since 9 11. Dr. Ackerman says the synagogue works closely with JSO and the FBI to notify them of any threats. That sense of security heightened after a mass shooting at the Tree of Life synagogue killed 11 people and injured many others. At times, synagogue has additional security, including an off-duty police officer in the area in case of an emergency like what happened Saturday morning. Dr. Ackerman says this latest incident is a reminder to stay vigilant, even in the nicest of surroundings. I think Jacksonville is, is great. The Jewish community in Jacksonville is a very cohesive and a very strong part of our community. And thank God in Jacksonville, we don't, uh, we don't experience much in the way of anti-Semitism. In Mandarin, Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.